Scott Winfield and welcome to Victorian Opera Season 2021 Sneak Peeks. Ahead of the company season launch in late November, we're sharing just a few of the titles you can expect to see on our stages next year. For our final sneak peek, we're joined by acclaimed director, Stuart Maunder. Stuart, thank you so, so much for joining us. My pleasure. Now, you've directed a great deal of work for Victorian Opera over the last few years, including your most recent production of A Little Night Music, which was absolutely spectacular. You'll be returning in 2021. What's the work? The work is Richard Meal's Voss, with a glorious uh, libretto by David Malouf. Uh, this, this is, I think, one of the great Australian works, really. And... Um, I'm delighted that Richard Mills suggested that Richard Mills work should go into his um, his season. It's so important that we do operas of our own time and place and and Voss is something that I've I've lived with it, let me tell you, since 1985 when my my ex-wife was cast in the original cast. So I can sing it all for you now, um, Scott, you know, Laura, Laura, there you are. I'm so happy, Laura. I wanted to tell someone, you know, what can I say? We've cast our bell, so <laughs> wonderful news. <laughs> yeah. So look, I've lived with, as I said, I've lived with it for a long time and I have a particular passion for, uh, for Australian works. And we, over here in Adelaide, we have a, a series called The Lost Operas of Oz. And my logic behind that was we wanted to try and do pieces that have had one major outing or sometimes yes. minor outings and give them another chance to, to live. So we're in rehearsal for Summer of the 17th Doll at the moment, which um, uh, had performed originally for Victorian Opera, no, Victoria State Opera rather, in uh, 1996 and then for Opera Australia. So we decided it was time to bring that back. So I'm particularly happy to be directing Voss. It's a huge, sprawling, um, scale uh, in, in it's a large, large opera, and it's been very hard to bring it to the stage. So in this staged concert form, I think it can live again. So we are in a co-production with Victorian Opera and State Opera of South Australia uh, to bring you know uh, one of the great works to the stage. I think. Voss has got such a curious uh, performance life. Of course, it was performed in 1987 and then a few times before its final uh, final staging in 1990. What do you think is the work's enduring legacy? Oh, look, you know, they, everybody says it's the great unread Australian novel. You know, everybody starts it and it's it's dense. It's 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 quite quite hard to get a, a, a grip on it. Um, I studied it from my HSC actually, so I, I speak from experience there. Uh, so I at least have finished it. But uh, the opera... The You're opera, a good student. <laughs> look, the opera is much more accessible, I think, than the original book, uh, than the original novel. And I think it's in Richard Meal's incredibly lush, romantic music it, it lives and then the, it contrasts with this very um harsh australian outback it's um it, it does resonate it's it's got the you know all those themes of the outsider you know desperately trying to rail against society and and finding a way through a harsh environment in australia and the fact that we survive or don't survive as the case is with voss uh, in that instance, it it does speak to our sort of fighter instinct, I suppose. But I think the most successful thing that the opera does is it creates an internal... A, a, the relationship between Laura and Voss is, is really quite hard to understand. It's this cerebral, you know, across the plains idea, this idea they're having a, 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 a relationship ac across lands and across time and and opera can do that so beautifully by by you know showing the two sides at once or whatever I, I recall reading it that i was desperate to get back to sydney each one one um one chapter would be with voss in the outback and the other chapter would be in sydney and i was always desperate to get back to sydney it's sad for a country boy isn't it but uh the opera the opera doesn't do that the opera shows you both at the one time and and uh it's it's a very very theatrical very honest very emotional reading of the work it's it's great great piece 
for any audiences who mightn't be familiar with the work or didn't get a chance to see it in its, in its brief outings when it was staged, what can they expect from it? I think they can expect a very... It's a, it's a very emotional story. Uh, it's very accessible. Um, you know, for example, the end of Act One is filled with lots of quadrilles from, uh, you know, the 1850s in Australia, this idea of them going off to conquer the land, you know, these Burke and Wills-like people, or Ludwig Leichhardt as he is then, but, you know, Melbourne knows all about that from what used to be on the corner of, uh, uh, of um, Swanston Street and, and Collins, you know, that whole idea of getting out and the, the, the West conquering Australia, there's elements of that. Uh, then you have elements of great beauty where the, the Voss and, and Laura meet in what's called the garden scene. And they're just, you know, two, the two people who are destined to be with each other. And the, the, uh, the tragedy of the piece, of course, is that they don't, uh, spoiler alert, they don't end up um, being together again at the end. Um, but I think for a modern work, and, you know, we're talking 1986 originally, uh, it is incredibly um, tuneful and it's incredibly lush in its its feel. It's not in any way minimalist. Uh, that's in the case of the chorus. The choruses are, are strong and robust. Start Act 1, finish Act 2, a little bit in the middle as well. Um, it's, a, it's a large cast of very interesting characters. We've been able to double cast some of the roles which I think add an interest to the, the night, as in double casting some of the people that are in Sydney and that are in the um, in the outback. Um, and, you know, you can see the show in all its glory because you're, you're not in any way um, reducing the piece. It's got a full orchestra on stage, full chorus. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a work that I'm incredibly um, proud to be part of its recreation or reinvention, I suppose. Yeah. Well, Stuart, we can't wait to see what you do with Voss. Thank you so, so much for joining <laughs> us. Not at all. My delight. See you soon. To receive Victorian Opera's season 2021 announcement, subscribe to Victorian Opera's e-news via victorianopera.com.au. I'm Scott Winfield. Thanks for watching. <laughs>